Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on a podcast with my very good friend, Jose Neuer, testing his microphone there. How are we doing, Joe? Very, very good. Thank you, Lee. How are, how are you after these five seconds we've been away? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you're good. And I am good. Yes. <laughs> of course, if you're audio, it's another week. If you are live, it's literally five minutes later as we're doing some recording back to back, mostly because... I will be on holiday, so we're we're loading up the schedule. If you're interested in watching us live, just follow um, the show and Jose on social media. We'll signpost you whenever we go in live, and you can get involved, comment on the show, talk to us as things are happening, etc., etc. Let's get into the action, Lee. Right, what are we talking about? So, you know how you said to be authentic and to put yourself out there. Yep. So what I was going to do, I was going to say, actually, Mr. Neuer, I have two ideas for the show, which are quite close to some things you're talking about. And I was going to put out the two ideas and tell you to pick one of the ideas. Oh, crikey. And one is for this week and one is for us next week, but probably three or four weeks time from now. Um, One is to do with the passing of time and the concept of time and how that looks which i think ties in a little bit to what we were talking about last week slash five minutes ago the other one is called the three c's and i came up with this while i was driving earlier i had an emergency trip to the vet for one of my poor little cats he's all absolutely fine just needed a little jab and i come up with this great idea on the way back and it's called the three c's and i won't lie i can't remember what one of the c's stood for now so i feel like that (laughs) topic should be off the table I remember the concept, I just can't remember it, and I'll kind of make one up, and then about half an hour after this, I'll be like, no, that's what it was. So I feel like we should do the time one by default. Well, you just chosen it then, in that case. <laughs> there you go. go there's, on, some, go there's some out there honesty for you. Oh, exactly. Um, go on. And it's funny, because one, there's bits around courage and confidence and stuff that are in there two of the three c's i just can't remember what the other one was which actually and this is where i talk about the synergies really aligns with what we were talking about um on the previous episode but i feel this one does too which is really weird so see, you you talked about from your the the book we're looking at on your particular episodes the the three phases of life and you referenced this a few weeks ago as well um i know um and there's a thing that i've i've signposted this in some previous episodes but there's a thing that really bends my mind around time um so i just wanted to kind of this would either be a a five minute conversation or a 30 minute conversation we'll see where we get to with it but there's a definite thing that as you get older time gets quicker or as you're younger maybe time's slower so i'm at an age joe's 20 years older than me so he probably feels this more than i do um, I'm in, I'm 40, Joey's, are you 50, 51? Yeah. Which one of those are you? I need to get it right. 51. There we go. See, look at me. I kind of know. You can tell You're by really the good. confidence in my voice. As I, went. I don't know what your whole, how old you are. It must be 21 or something. That's it. 22 actually, Joe. 22. I am 40. But for reference of where we are, and it's a definite year is just, a year is nothing now. If I plan to do something in a year's time... Uh, professionally or personally or whatever else or 18 months I mean I've got some plans we're working on for various things at home that it's like stuff planned out for the next two years but actually that's going to go like that when I was 21 two years even a year would be an eternity and even silly things that if you sign up for sank on the tv and it's going to be a year's contract it's like oh my god that's forever or if it's something where you've got something cheap for a year you're like whoa I am sorted for life now Whereas now, if I got something that was a deal for a year, I'm already planning what I'm going to do after that because that just goes in a flash. And that was me in both those occasions, but my perception, and that's what it is, because the time, time, well, I'm going to say time is time, but maybe that's part of the conversation. But my perception and my reality around those two things is very, very, very different. Um, And I, in fact, talked about it a few episodes ago. Me and Joe talked about this off air. Um, I referenced some other podcasts I listened to a few episodes ago and the, the hosts on that are either older or similar age to myself. And, and I've, they've talked about this thing as well, which kind of put it in my mind, but it is the passing of time. And I, as an example, I've got a picture on my phone, my kids, which is probably four years old now. And to me, that's them. They kind of still look the same. Um, and it's 
fairly recent. You know what it's like. You put it on, you, do, you leave it on the phone for years. And they looked at it and they went, oh my God, that's so old. You need an up-to-date picture. And um, because to them, they're, they've just turned 13. At the time, they were 12 when they said this. Four years is a third of their life. Wow. So yeah. that's a long time. And I think that's yeah. the, I don't know if that's the biggest thing in all of this is it's relative to your own experience. So like when you're 20 and something's going to happen in five years time, that's a quarter of your life. When you're 40 yeah. and something's going to happen in five years time, that's an eighth of your life. It's not quite as long. Mm. You've lived more. And I don't know if the, the kind of the longer experience you've got, it actually speeds up the time because it's less significant to you. And for me, you know, I'm, I know we talked about this, but relatively speaking, five years ago, I can remember what was going on and I can probably plan out what I want to do for the next five years. Five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. They, I might as well have been different people at each of those ages. And there's, yeah. a, there's a maturity bit that comes with it. And it's, and I don't know what, what it is exactly that sits with it, but it just, it fascinates me. And I want to talk a little bit about that concept. And then the bit that's more of the thought experiment is... If that's a reality, if that's how we perceive time, if that's how it works for us as a species, is there anything in there that once we're conscious of it, we can use that to kind of, we can harness that in any way? But first, a concept. We'll get onto that secondly. First, a concept. I don't know what you think about that, if you have thought about that. Yeah, just for me, the, the thing that popped up for me was, um, and this is just very off the, off the cuff for me, is I just think when I was younger, I didn't have so much responsibility. I wasn't, I didn't feel that I had so much going on yes i just seem to go just with life i just seem to go with life no responsibilities just go along have some fun go and play a bit of football you know just do that but as i then progressed my life just filled up with bills to pay uh children to look after uh so i think the responsibilities build up so for me i think because yeah i, I agree with you when, when i i remember i don't know about back in a time but i remember we used to collect dairy lee uh, boxes and in this dairy lee there's this offer and the offer was, uh, this is before the internet, by the way, that's how old I am. Um, it's when they had stone tablets and prehistoric things, we'd chip away, you know, it's all that. Like Fred, Fred Barney and Flintstones, we remember that prehistoric, prehistoric show. And we, get, we collect these lids, like you collect these lids, and, uh, and you had to send it off. And it said, by the time you send it off and send your 50p or whatever it was, I think it was even cheaper now, I don't know if you paid anything, I can't remember. Was but it not it like 28 two, days, two 28 days to deliver you, what? Two guineas in a crown. Oh, I can't remember that. But yeah, that's very old money. Uh, I know, I know the joke you're trying to make there. It's good, um, but I'm just going to go <laughs> past that. Shut down there. Now. Shut down. <laughs> Where was I? I've you totally changed what my train of thought now. You sent off um, your, you sent off your leads. Oh, you sent it off. Yeah, that's it. And it's 28 days for delivery, and 28 days felt like an eternity. Like to come through your door, you're watching that door to wait for my free gift to come through. It's like silly putty, which was brilliant. You're like silly, but coming there, you bounce it about, you do something. But it, and it glue in the dark, glowed in the dark, so it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It's it brilliant. They want me to be in the silly putty. Remember, if you do, give us a little shout out. But if you do, and my sister remembers that as well. But that's the concept. I was just waiting for that. But I, for me, I think the reason it goes so quickly, just to go back to that concept, is for me because I didn't have that. I didn't have some things pressing on my time. And also, now I've got to this stage of my life, I've got this real mission that I'm on. I feel like I'm running out of time because there is so much going on, which I don't mind, actually. I like it, but I want to try and, I want to try and enjoy the moments. You know what like we talked about before, like in that meditative, in the, in the moment, I think it's even more important now than ever. And I think also technology with your phones and everything's quicker. And I think it's um, just there's so much to get involved with that you just, you, you just time, just the corny concept, it flies because there's just so much gone. Now I suspect for younger people, it might be the same now because they've got things like Facebook, Twitter, internet, and you can just spend like two hours of time on, on YouTube and you only recognize it two years' time. It's like, it's like when you used to play computer games, Lee, right? You, you spend, you think, I'm going to spend half an hour. You spend up doing four hours. And you think, where did four hours go? It's a bit like that. You, you, you can find things. If you're that, occupied. That just, you just, think, yeah. you just disappears. I think now more than ever, I think it's moving. But I'd love to know, actually, if we had someone who's 18 right now in here, and maybe Ryan would probably give us a good view on that as to how he perceives time or even younger 18 how do you perceive time is it quick is it slow it'd be really interesting to know wouldn't it but uh, that's my view anyway i like that and there's a take off a little sidebar to go on is a technology <clears throat> angle as well and i think you're right because there's so much and it's not it's not even actually i was going to say there's so much content access to it, but it's not even that it's everything so you made me think of something when you talked about your dairy lee send off thing that you did to start off with i thought you you're going to say you used to collect dairy lees and i'll be like well they won't keep very well 
<laughs> well, you've got a big mouldy pile of squidgy cheese in your room or something. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really want the Dairy Lee now as well, now you said that. But yeah, the little silver... Yeah, go on, carry on, sorry. Interrupt, go on. Anywho, so your delivery thing. I know you have the same. You used to have the... Uh, I don't remember the old the catalogue that you could buy stuff from and you pay off yeah. weekly and everything else like that. Yeah. And I remember the same. When I was quite young, order the game. And the delivery was 28 days, and every day has it come yet. Has it come? And it's like, this is forever. But it was also perfectly accepted that if you order something, you're not getting it for a month. Now, if I order something and it's not with me in 48 hours, what the hell has gone wrong with the world? You know, if something happened, and you need to know what happened, you'd pick up the newspaper the next day. The evening news, maybe, but chances are that's the day before the news anyway. Now, if I'm stuck on the side of a road and something's happened, if there's not already a news report or something on social media telling me what's going on, what's going on? There's now is much more, it's available, but because it's available, the expectations are now completely different. Uh, yeah. Whereas, like I said, it would have been, you just you just accepted that it's 20. Now, these things come from the same warehouses now that they used to, and there's no more steps or no less steps involved in all of it. It's just... But there's just that expectation and it's, you know, it is technology driven and I think society driven in a number of ways. And then the same, you know, I, when we worked in, uh, I've noticed, you know, is my little crutch I like to lie on when I'm skipping subjects. I kind of run myself and everyone's got them, but you know, is one of my favourites if I'm just talking through. Oh, I'll try and work on that, you know, you know, see see how I did it. In our social group, one of the things we like to do when we're at home in the evenings, individually, we didn't all live in one big house together, we'd watch The Simpsons and we'd talk about whatever we saw in that episode and we'd quote it to each other. But there, was, there wasn't many episodes, it was all repeats. We, you know, those episodes, and it wasn't just that, it's all shows. Shows that I liked, I would have seen the episodes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times because there was only a few of them and they went round. In, and it, that's how you, you passed the time and it was quite leisurely, you knew what was coming and you just accepted mm. that. I doubt there's most shows I like now I've only watched once. Ones I really like, I will go back and watch a second time. But that is a, yeah. you know, that's a special thing when I watch it. A second that's the time. test, isn't it? If you do go back, it's proper good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, but because there's so, and there just there wasn't, you know, you, there'd be one or two mm. big shows that were on that were on weekly and once a week and stuff. But now there's you're overblown, which again, like you said, your time is occupied is occupied with new your concentration level is different when it's new than when it's a repeat so maybe there is a bit of that computer game syndrome where because you're so occupied it just rattle past and rattle past and rattles past which is just you pop i've got another topic that's popped into my head that i was going to talk about that ties in with this a bit so that might replace the three c's in a couple of weeks if i can't remember what the third c well i'm was. really intrigued with the three c's i think i like the three c's so don't try try and remember that and write it down because i really want to i want that that could be a thing when it pops I back in my head it, i'm going to put i'm going to write yeah, it in my notes I, on I my love, phone was it, it was Courage and confidence is one missing, looks like. Um, anyway, going back to that thing, what you're saying about the time, I wrote something down. I think more than ever, it's about attention. Your attention is monetized. Like, you know, your attention, that's why there's so much new stuff coming out. People recognize the value of attention. Um, so, again, that buys into our time, right? Because we know time, you can never get time back. Right. Once you spent your time, that's it. You never get it back. So, it's the yes. most valuable thing. And I don't think we, I don't think we value it enough i don't think we do i value it much more now but when i was young i didn't really value it i just thought oh well i'll just go here and I go there. but actually we should be really careful about how we where we spend our time the, you know the show you watch the things you surround yourself with the time you spend on social where do you spend it this is really critical and i think you know because you can like you say go down a rabbit hole and for curiosity is quite good if you're learning something and i think if you're interested it's enjoyable that's good because it adds to your the things but we can just be dragged in all sorts of directions if we're not conscious yes you know, or and, um, you might end up doing nothing and just wasting it. That's what that's the worry. That's what I'm concerned about. And I think that's where you can get in the in the hole and go, well, well actually, I've, I've, I've gone 10 years of my life, not done anything. Because you can get sucked down a rabbit hole. In fact, there was a video that I saw, you know, it was almost really, it was really interesting. It's just, I think, what was it called? After School, I think, a YouTube channel. Um, and it was, there's was a little story about a knight. And this knight would be the, the toast of the town. But there's this, there was this, um, ghost and uh, this ghost appeared and said hey look i can show you anything like superpower anyway the ghost was distracting them from the things that they love because they got distracted by oh show me this show me that show me the other but they, they then lost interest in the things that they loved and then it was far too late i'm not going to tell the end because i think it's a really good thing go check it out then at the end they they basically lost because they didn't focus on anything they wanted they just basically blew their time on the things that really didn't matter else wanted to show them or distract them with or yeah 
And so we have all got to be so careful and think about a time thing. That's why I think it can go so quickly because one, we're not conscious of time. We're not really thinking where we're spending our time. And two, we just get distracted and we haven't got, that's why, that's why coaching is so valuable because it gives you a direction. It gives you, it knows where you're going. If you know where you're going, you know what you need to focus on and the things that you need to keep going with that give you like, then we talked about the three, the, the three hobbies, one hobby to make you rich, one hobby to um, keep you creative, um, one ho hobby to keep you healthy. I think though, that's a really good thing. So if you focus on just do those three things, your attention will be in the right places. Yes. Um, anyway, sorry, Lee. Anyway, I don't know if that's, that's blown like too that. much with your time, but I just think time is such a, it's such a big subject and it's such a valuable thing that we don't value enough. And this and is that's it. That's I really think it's, like you said, it's a huge subject, but it can be a subject you never think about. And yeah. that's, a, that's the irony of it all, is you, you, you don't give any thought to the concept of what we do, how you spend it. Because it is, your, your time <laughs> is currency as much as money is currency. Well, it's more important than per currency. You spend, it's more important, because you, you can't never get it back. You can get more money back, but you can't get any time very back. Very true, yeah. And you've you got, can, you've got you can to be lose all your money. You, you can lose all your money. That means you could make it back, but you can't make the time back. You can never, you, like, this moment just went, that, that moment just went past out. That's never, ever coming back. This podcast episode that we're doing right now is never, ever coming back. This moment we've had together, it'll never, ever come back. It's just gone. That moment's just gone. It's, a, it's crazy when you think about it. it. It'll never be repeated ever. To be fair, though, sometimes I kind of wish past the moments <laughs> we spend together, so it's not a bad thing, Joe. Well, you know. <laughs> I love you, know. you, Lee. I love you, Lee. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Sexy Lee. He has All good right. videos, by the way. It's getting weird now. It's getting weird. I'll notice this. There is a pattern. YouTube, we'll give a quick plug. So if you like what we're doing, join us live each and every week on TikTok and YouTube. Um, you know our pages, links are on the social, subscribe, it'll tell you when we're going live, get involved with the show. And also, while you're on our YouTube page, have a little look at the videos and you'll notice a pattern that there's a spike every so many videos and views. And you notice a pattern that there's one particular face, maybe my face, that is on the thumbnail for every one of these videos that spikes. It must be the beard. As, as, as we covered a few weeks ago, Jose, there are no such thing as coincidences. So... What can yeah. I say? Well, no, I thought there is some sort of coincidence. No, there's no Everything, everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah, so then there's no such thing as coincidence. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's getting late. His Guinness is wearing off. He doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. No. Um, so time, yeah. I, yeah. I was, you, you said so. It was really... Oh, it's gone. Anyway, it's gone now. But um, no, time. Just, yeah, really well, we, value it. We touched on the third... We almost touched on the third point there, which is how you harness it. If, you, if you're aware of the in pace shall we say what do you do with that how do you become conscious how do you make sure you spend your time and do it the, the thing you said Joe, like the three the three hobbies for example it's something like something that focuses you on what you want to do and make sure you dedicate some time to doing that and i think that just gets more and more important and it overlaps with a bit of a mind mindfulness thing as well it's that moment to slow down take some time to slow down and take it in and appreciate where you are and i think the more checkpoints you do to kind of take a breather acknowledge where you are and you build up a pattern of them you're not just running 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 you start to i think there's a big appreciation thing to all of that as well and again as there's more yeah. pace as you can do more things at once as there's more content as you can do th as you do things on the go um which you would you know you can watch tv or listen to music or listen to podcasts or whatever pretty much anywhere whatever you're doing which you didn't have before so you're losing those times that would have been natural reflection time. So I think it's really important to build them in. I think, just thinking on my feet with this, but I think that's a really core way of starting to, again, to harness what's there. Well, you're right. You're right. Because, you know, when we were like, like, you know, even your age, right? We're younger. You didn't have that phone. But now young people have those phones. I know I had a computer. I had a ZX Spectrum. Tape, loaded by tapes. Amazing stick, piece of stick. Crit stick tape but, into google if you're not sure what that is but honestly i would spend hours on that computer and just the, the art i would my mum, bless her oh i love her so much um like i'd be on my excel spectrum all that i'd get up i load the machine it took about five minutes to load a game in but honestly i'd be on that game and i i spent the whole day on that game like the day we just go oh it's, it's, it's like t it's like dinner time Oh, and I'll repeat this a little bit, but then it's like, like tea time. My mum had to actually switch off, switch off the electricity in the house to get me out. <laughs> I said, Mum, no, because, you know, in those days, you had to, like, get a separate cassette and save the position yes. and press record to load it back in. 
Not like now, we've got apps that just happen, right? And I lost the whole day. That's eight hours of gameplay in, in, in a moment of losing electricity, right? But that's what I mean. I think now people have got phones, people know that attention is money um, and time is money. Um, and, you know, when, you even, when I was even, even watching GMTV this morning, they were trying to, you could see they're, they're, they're trying to get a trick award and they're, they're saying to their, to their viewers to say, hey, vote for us, right? They get in there, people, to get more attention on the show because they know more eyeballs on the show create more attention. That means more revenue, which means more advertising, which means they continue the show, which then builds their brand, right? And builds the business. So just remember this. And Gary, we talked about this very many years ago. Attention is the biggest commodity ever. And that means time, your time. Yes. So be careful where you spend it because it's more important than your money. <laughs> it's your attention is so... So I would say you, you're on TikTok and you listen. I value, we value your attention because it's the most... You spending time with us is the most valuable thing we really appreciate. We 100%. don't undervalue that. So you spending time is super valuable. You listening to this, we really appreciate you. So thank you so much for that. On the, the content thing, and like I said, with the thinking time. So I, if I'm doing stuff in the house, if I'm washing up, for example, or I'm putting stuff away, or if I'm walking up the road to the shops, or if I've got time to kill, you know, in an airport, for example, it's all about these. Headphones are in Ooh, and I'm that's the, Is those the Bluetooth sort of just earbuds yeah. things? Yeah, yeah. All about them. Headphones go in. Oh, this. Why? Head, but headphones go in. And I'm listening. I don't, the second, you know, the second I've got time, if you like, like that. And time means while I'm doing things, uh, the same as while I've been doing my, uh, you know, like decorating and stuff, the whole time, headphones are in and I'm listening. And actually, there's a series of things I listen to and I have to be quite judicious in which ones I do and don't listen to so I don't build up too much of a backlog. And this is bearing in mind, there's probably hours a day that get spent on this because there's so much of it out there. So like you said, the time is precious. But also beforehand, washing up painting walking up the road to the shops waiting for a bus waiting for the airport getting a train they would have been reflection times and it's not now mm. it's there's things like reading a book and whatever else but i think there's a different mentality to that than there is when someone's pushing content to you rather than you kind of taking it as you choose and i just think maybe there is something in the whole maybe that's why mindfulness is such a conscious thing now because you have to create time for it probably more than you've ever had to. Yeah, I love that. And that I actually, really love that. That's, that's my other topic that I just I love remembered. that, Lee. So we no, might talk that. about that one in a couple of weeks. I, I, I love that, and I've got a few things on that, actually, but I just want to give a shout-out to Clarky. He's in the house. Clarky, thank you. He's in the house. Not, it's been a while, Clarky. So, David, De Clarky's in the house. Creates these lovely videos. Yeah, I just wanted to say about that because, actually, you're right. When you were saying about the earbuds, so I, when I go for a walk, and I purposely go for a walk, and I don't have earbuds. I don't, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm purposely not having an Apple Watch. I'm purposely not having a watch to, because I don't want to be interrupted because I've already with the phone, I'm already interrupted. So I've, I'm recognising that, hey, I could be doing the washing up, but if I've got me, like, I'm not saying it's a wrong thing to, because it's good education and all that. So it's, a, it's a balance, isn't it? But if we always got our earbuds in, I see when I go for, everyone's got earbuds in. People are not paying attention to that walk. They're not reflecting like you said and that reflection time is so important like to actually just sit without any inputs and just recognize what's going on around you that, as those inputs rather than if i'm listening to something i'm just listening to that and i'm not taking anything around me right and i think that would that whole thing about mindfulness and mental health is a really critical thing again and that's probably why time speeds up as well because we got i've got to get through this podcast oh i want to listen to that or this show's coming or i've got to binge this show or all these sort of things but like you say, Lee, I think the important thing is it's like choosing the things that make you grow, help you grow, but also allowing time for yourself to unplug from all that. Yes. And this is why I do this mindful walk. I do have my phone with me, but it's in my pocket, but I don't have earbuds, but I literally do that for steps, but I do a, I do a false commute. And I want to pay attention to, like I talked about before, but pay attention to the trees, pay attention to the birds singing, because I do feel there's, I have a lack of that, because it literally could be, all my time could be sucked up in content. You know, the videos I sent, you know, like the, the emails I sent you on the, the wisdom, right? I could be sucked up in all that, which is great. But again, I've got to have the right amount of balance between it all, because it could be just, I could just spend all day doing that easily where I need to make sure that I have those moments of mindfulness, like you say, Lee. So important. So important, this, this subject of time. I love it. 100%, Joe. I love it. 100%. I love it. I love it. But yeah, I think for me, is those earbuds are great, but I am, I am, I am at the minute, I am resisting 
watches. I'm a resisting earbuds. Um, I really have tempted to get them, but I'm, I could just see myself just getting involved in everything um, and then not allowing that time for me to self-reflect. Like when I can't sleep, I'll go downstairs and try and do a little bit of five-minute meditation because of everything's on my mind, right? So taking those moments is so important to give your mind a rest. Actually, Ray Dalio talks about when he meditates. I know you're not a big believer in meditation, but you've got mindfulness, which is, a, mindfulness, which is a type of meditation. We've got running out of time here. I don't know if I'll say the that, irony but, um, of time. I saw it there, Joe. Yeah, do this and I then I'll wrap that. us up. Finish your thought. But just quickly... Uh, Ray Daly talks about his meditation time as going on holiday because it literally relaxes his mind and it gets away from everything. Like, literally, you know, and also it's an inner journey. You know, if you're a bit spiritual, but you're not spiritual, in a, you know, in a way that works for you, is finding out about yourself more. You going into yourself, and actually, I think you're quite natural at this. Is but I'm quite an extrovert, so I have to really focus on the inside and go, what's going on for me right now inside me. And if I have all these outside distractions, that's not happening because I'm I'm easily distracted because I love technology. I love doing these things. Um, I love all the technology stuff and I need to make sure I draw back and actually spend time with myself. What am I thinking? Is this healthy? And through that, and through the concept of time, I'm actually appreciating that time. So I can elongate the t- try and elongate the time, right? Because it does go back so quickly. And as they get older, right, the responsibilities build up. But going back, it's almost like a full loop now. We go back, we can slow it down by doing things like that. Slowing time down by taking that time for ourselves and making time for ourselves to make sure we explore what we need to explore, find out what we're thinking. Because a lot of time, mental health suffers because we're not aware of the thoughts we're thinking. And those are the thoughts that can drive our behaviours that drive things that aren't good for us. Same time, we can drive behaviours which are good for us, right? Anyway, Lee, that was my thoughts on this. It's really great. I love this subject, by the way. Don't do a bit of a rabbit I'm really hole, pleased, but, I but this it. is it. I told you it could be five minutes or it could be half an hour. We could probably do some more, but ironically, we are running out of time ourselves. Yeah, you have to thank yeah. everyone out there supporting us. Hopefully, this has been inspirational. It prompted some thoughts in your mind. At the very least, it's got some random thoughts out of my head for 30 minutes, so that always helps. Um, social media at listen to and listen T O I N, um, inspirationnation.org.uk for shop, newsletter archive everything we do here is my mug you can get your own inspiration nation mug at inspirationnation.org.uk there is joe with his face mask as well um and of course whatever platform you're on if you are on a podcast device podcast device my god podcast app if you're on youtube <laughs> if you're on tiktok just like subscribe leave reviews share our content tell friends and family all of this is what supports us and helps us grow and tell us what you like any across any of those platforms anywhere it is leave us a comment we appreciate all of that good stuff um it's a good news jose i've remembered what the third c stands for and i've oh, wrote it down no 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 no, no. we've got to wait this will be oh out. Well, we really want to know now Two okay. or three weeks time people will find out you, re- you have written means. it down you said right you I said you wrote it down so that's good all right we've down. got to have that i, I really like this i really like the sound of that already on and again, it's good to add to your backlog of your life. Another tool. This will be the four, three, sorry, the three C's of this the tool. The got, three another, C's of another tool. <laughs> I love it. I um, just want to give out to uh, shout out to Dave, to Clarkey. Um, just sort of agreeing with what we're saying here, saying you have to detach from technology and attach to the world around you, which is absolutely spot hundred um, percent. Because we can lose touch with it. In fact, VR, and we could talk about that. Uh, is another thing where we are going to almost like detach totally from reality. We've got to be so careful about that, I think, um, because I could be so addicted to that right now. VR is such a, um, a technology which is going to advance so quickly over the next 10 years. A couple of our kids have got VR things. They are very oh, um, which one immersive. They got? The, which one have they got? The, um, the, the play- PlayStation, is it? the new PlayStation one, but the Oculus rift i think as well oh is that yeah 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 they're very so, so have you got the new playstation vr the yes. actual vr yeah oh how oh you're gonna have to we have to have an offline chat because I, I really want it i really i don't play much playstation but i'm i want to might get back into it i want to get that it probably awesome. but we'll, we'll, we'll it? talk about it yes other yes. vr solutions but not we need to get away from it that so we need to get space away from that but i'm so tempted right now. <laughs> look at us we're like we won't do that we won't oh, do really? that but we will do it don't tell everyone <laughs> I really did it, yeah. Brilliant stuff. Right, I will count this down. We'll be back next week. Thank you, everyone. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Guys later.
Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.